I don't know where to go. Hi guys, I'm Matt and welcome back to Ash of Gods Redemption. So last time we've got a little bit of a tutorial during the combat. We've learned that the city has been attacked. A wife has been killed. Also, uh, our house helper apparently was uh, a snitch. He was uh, sending messages to the king about our doing and I've bitch slapped him so hard that he died. So <laughs> the previous, previous episode was Shadow's fun. Let's see what actually we're gonna see in this one. So, uh, basically like some sea gods have arrived. Also, I don't know why. Hello? Okay. Okay, I don't know. The shit. One of the soldiers uh, leans against the shit. His legs screaming unable to support him. <sighs> Braggart. Logging about. I completely forgotten what voices I gave you, so I'm sorry. I'm just gonna probably try to do new ones. This is what happens when you don't record uh, games one after another, like episodes. Like record one. You make like a few days of break and then you're like, shit, what kind of language? I mean, what kind of voice I give you? Oh, well, just coming to my senses. <laughs> no, thank you. What to do? <sighs> just coming to my senses. Okay. Um, What can you do against the Reaper? Hmm. It came after me. You see, it knows where I'm hiding and it'll find me again. Mm. It came after me. Okay. It came after all of us, <laughs> knucklehead. Do you think you're special or something? If, God forbid, it comes back, I'll be for all of our heads. Torren, we need to leave. Now. We can't run or hide. Death, death is in the air. Uh. Load you decreased, Barrett. Great. Listen to me, boy. Don't let let your fear wag your phone for you. Crop it. If you want to die, do it. Just don't drag others into it. Oh, yeah, my loyalty just went to shit. Okay, I've picked up and the wrong option. Uh. Hey, shop. Quit cringling, hide oh, like a puppy. Go fight in these traps on the horse. Mm. Oh, you remember me? Hold. Nice hair. Get this nanny away from me. At this rate, he'll soon be holding my end member while I'll take a leak. Let him look after Cleda. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> but oh, aren't we bullies? Oh, wait, you're actually like, quite fatty. Bullies? You see what's happening, Albus? Don't drag Cleda into this. I worry about you. Mm. Go on, right out of here. I need you like I need a hole in my head. If you want to look after me, do it from far away. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> That's what the stress does not to men. You look like stiff. <laughs> stiff as a dick. <laughs> you look st as stiff as a dick in your bathhouse. Oh, don't worry. No, I cannot keep a serious face after this sentence. You cool off your old white best batting again. <laughs> Torn. What else did you want to ask the lead, the lad? Okay, now pick the right thingy. Don't get like morale decreased, okay? Because that's gonna stink. If you don't know, in this game, heroes actually die. That's part of the ending. I think there's actually more than one ending. And if you're gonna screw up too badly, then you won't actually get a good ending. So, you know. Um, okay, what we could actually pick in order to make those guys happy. So... The uh, hold, uh, hold, hold, whatever his name is, he's standing, he's trying to do his work while the Fadas is standing and basically interrupting him. So, mm, I don't know which one to pick. All right, enough talk. Why are you staring at the gate? That's a good question, I guess. Is that like a natural question? You know, we'll actually like worry about him. <laughs> well, I mean, it's really nice through the gate. We could just stay here for a while with the mess. Clear up. Let's, let's not force shit, crack. Uh, dude. The Reapers are coming, and you think like a wooden door is about to stop them? Think again. <sighs> you really can hide and snob. What do you think the gate's gonna stop? The monster? Or maybe the plague? What's next? Crawling under a blanket? <laughs> <laughs> Will it help? <laughs> you want to do the right thing? Oh, what if those ma madmen come of their senses? That's all hunky dory. <sighs> Will it help? I don't think so. Uh, how are you holding up? Yeah, that's probably a good question. I'm trying my best. My knees are shaking. My arms weak. <laughs> Hands are shaking. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti on my sweater. Uh, it's rather half a war. Okay, that's nice. War doesn't keep men waiting. You find what your knees shake us less when you are marching. Let's go and see what happens. <laughs> the point is this is the right direction. All I hear is talk. You are a superior, aren't ya? <sighs> okay. Why the sour look? Should I, s <laughs> should I sing and dance? This is no fort. We must move to Urus. The wa its walls are higher, and the Yerevan army is nearby. The king himself is there, and more food. 
Yeah, you definitely look like somebody who needs food. You look like you're starving, actually. You haven't eaten for the past 10 minutes. Uh, okay. You care all about this stuffing in your face. The entire Yaredan army loses its marbles like the Alibius guards. Euros will be a good for nothing. <laughs> well, I mean, the madness hasn't affected us, so there must be someone, someone saying, Irunus, let them deal with the craziness. Hmm. Well, I mean, the badness hasn't affected us. Oh, wait, this is his saying, okay. Writing of talk. <sighs> Look at stop rumbling. Usually he is too busy chewing. He probably thought he would be hiding in the tavern. If you could hide from a horror in the tavern, I'll be there already. Quicker, do something. We didn't join Torrance Brain Company by accident, did we? I mean, no disrespect the captain. Respect my decisions then. First, we need to get out of the town and ride to the nearest man here to get rid of the plague. We'll see where we can go from there. Interesting. Your thing increased. Stop. This is like random. It's like random. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm pressing random buttons. Somehow this is working. I don't know how. Forget about Tober Krieger. The Burgermaster is dead. <laughs> We're setting up shit crack. <laughs> what do we know now? Watch the shit stain and run. That's actually a good advice. Uh, okay. What's... Uh, what's the sign on the gate? Check the backs of everyone's necks. The plague leaves a... Okay, that's actually a good idea, you know? Because you feel like infected. Screw you, dude! You're going, like, on the far away back of the company or up front? <laughs> Figure out that already. None of, m none of my lads have marks. I personally checked. The town folks have been clutching their necks in pain, though. The gods spare us from the pillage. Plight? Without them. We'll be squiggling me on the ground. You should be grateful. Go to increase. Frisk. Invoke the gods, but they have nothing to do with this. Confront them. Well, we got Shrikis to help us. What do we have, Frisk? What do you mean? I have a spear and my armor. Through, I admit, they aren't the best. Okay, I wonder... Whatever you're drunk or stupid. Okay, that's gonna be probably a bad thing to, to say. Perhaps I'm not making myself clear. That's... Something more mature, like, you know, like the manly guy, the captain, the guy who's actually leading. you showing your men their places in the squad. Let's go with this one. A bit slow on the upkeep, aren't you? I'll say it again, slowly. <laughs> Stray 6 protects you from the plague, Krieger, and I have our captain insignia with Stray 6. Those lads have earrings with flasks of the stone. Where is your Strix? Strix? Whatever thing. <clears throat> Showing a piece of jewelry. I've got a small one in a pane. Use it by my mother. I keep it in her memory, but I don't wear it. Wear it. <sighs> so she protects you. Even after her death, pray to dead mother Frisk rather than to the gods. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. That's that's a good thing to say. Um you say something about going berserk, Krieger. Oh shit. Okay. That's what's the sign on the gate? <sighs> How should I know? I was standing guy by the northern gate with Frisk. My, the gods punish him with this ability. Soldi, a monster appeared. Mm. I heard that creature. People rec Temple records uh, refer to them as reapers. For they come during the reaping. <laughs> the reaping. They don't always look like monsters. Sometimes they appear almost human. They calm themselves the Umbra. But there's only a passing mention of them in the Chronicles. Uh. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking like a woman. Uh, having the biggest idea what it was about. And frankly, I don't give a crap. I just want... I just know what I saw. There was so scary with shit, you bridges. <laughs> Many died, in fact. All of them fell to the ground. At least the monster drew some kind of mark on the gate and let out for se and let out a scratch. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> the Ripper said You look like a guy from a highborn house, you know? Just think, nice hair. The Ripper said that the gate was sealed and everyone should prepare to die. It said so in the temple fong. And then in the Frisian Starting to yell. Will you shut up, Will Zyle? You've been go uh, you've been going on and on. What are you planning to do? Talk your foes to death on the battlefield? You snotty brat? Oh. <laughs> Have I ever given anyone a reason to call me a coward? <sighs> uh, okay. Krigol, let it go. Hush fit. Okay, so fuck uh Uh okay. F this guy is actually like like, my closest friend, I believe, so I'm gonna silence this guy, right? Because this guy is Krieger, this guy is uh, Fleet. So, Fleet, everything decreased, yeah, <laughs> obvious, because you... Yeah, and this one increases, so if I'm gonna pick the other one, you get the idea. 
did it not teach you to raise a hand? What well, shit? <laughs> Fuck it. I pressed the button. I am no coward. I don't care if you are a coward or not. Step aside and don't get in my nerves. I ask for advice when I need it. If you are still alive, that is. Oh, that was bad. Okay, you said something about going berserk. Don't ask about the gate next time. Well, you see, the monster you itch at a sign on the gate and vanish it, then the bell started ringing and it all went topsy hurvy. The people get to their feet and began to beat the living daylights out of each other. Some skid dead let others took up arms. Some folk just used bare hands. Me and Fisk ran for it, but that didn't go well. Even the people we knew were lingering on us like furious beasts. We wanted to avoid killing them, of course, but the way things were, we fought our way to the stables and found those lads. I see. I'm starting to make sense. The plague leaves a mark which makes you go berserk. But it doesn't always work. Perhaps some poses the inner strength to resist. Or maybe Stick Sticks have to do something to do with it. Mm. The mark's not a death sentence then. If you resist it, things are looking up, boys. Something to drink to. The mark is not a death sentence then. Uh, okay, this so is uh, him saying that thing. Okay, let's get and move on. Damn, I almost forgot. The people don't go mad immediately after the monster left the sign on the gate. First, a merchant drove through the square. What? In a flying gallop? It's a miracle he didn't trample anyone. Oh. He pulled the... What? He pulled the control lever, slid something between the gates, opened it up, off, opened it up, and off he went. All by himself. And here I thought he was a good for nothing use. Surely you know him. Short brat, always smiling, shop near the town hall. A good drinking buddy, if you ask me. Rask? So he managed to get out of the town. If the gate's still open, then. No, the people were going berserk already. Some of the guards went after the risk fellow. By the way, the, the gate slammed shut as nobody held it open. So it's possible they opened the gate after all. Gather everyone, Krieger. And let's go. We need to get out of the town. Uh, okay. Then I decided to say we already now. Snoop, open the gate. Everyone, follow me and Krieger. Go! Whatever, dude. Finally, some movement! Christ, my hands are itching. You stop in a square near the gate. This mountain peak around the corner. The ground before the gate is in it with corpses. Beside them, guards shovel about, scratching their necks and growling, growling now and then. <laughs> they have weapons at the ready. Okay, it's increased ringing at the bell makes you squirm as you, examine the, as you examine the gate. There is some kind of glowing mark on it. The square is full of abandoned carts, baskets and crates, and corpses. There is no way to ride through the horseback. Your company waits for your decision. Dash it through, I guess? Hey. I don't know. Do you realize what's going on? Um, uh, Turning the face to the rest. Ah, okay, so he's talking to the squad. Um, why are those madmen so organized? Why did the monster seal the gate? Shall we try to break through? Enough thinking, time for action. Why, the most, why did the monster seal the gate? Okay, the reapers are like children. Very cruel children. Pitting people against each other. Uh, just to see what's going to happen. Like playthings. If that's, that's what father said. If your father is a temple servant, by any chance. A royal scribe, but I don't want... But I didn't want to be a scribe. I wanted to become a warrior, so I ran away from capital. capital. Yeah, I've noticed that actually like a you know, highborn guy. Consider your wish fulfilled. I hope it has <laughs> lost its glamour. It will soon, in any case. Okay. Why did the, uh, why those madmen so organized? <coughs> oh, it's his daughter now speaking. Okay, nice hair. Could it be that they saved the Reaper and now are bound by his will? Mm. Urgent manuscripts don't mention anything about it. However... They'd say that each Reaper is different. The Reaper could have intent invented something new. Rask has mentioned something like this too. Okay, you discussed like, the Reaper with Rask? Hmm. Sometimes, you don't know the history if you don't know the Reapings. They direct, direct its curse, even if they only happens twice. Hmm. Who knew it would come back? It's, uh, in this absence of other explanations, we have to go with this one. <laughs> Great. Uh... Okay, well, enough talking, time to go for action. We can attack the ranks directly, so we have to speed up. Some of you will join the fight, but others will have to go around and fight the, sh the fight and reach the gate. Why would we split? It's much better to stay together. What if the craziness gets reinforcements while we are busy fighting? I don't care about winning, I just want to get out of here alive. How do you open the gate? It's sealed by the sign. If Rask managed to do it somehow, 
them sh so we can. On your guard! You there! Follow me! Dressed to the gate! Okay. Oh, you actually pick your freaking squad. Okay, so... Um... Deck. Ah, my cards. Okay, party. So, who I'm gonna pick? Warrior, Assassin, Archer, Warrior, Spearman, Archer. Okay, and do you have something like... Loyalty, there it is. Aha, so this is for the stats. Okay, this guy is loyal. So let's put him here. Assassin. Mm, no injuries. Speed 3 on 1. Okay, I don't know who to pick. Warrior. <laughs> I'm not gonna pick the fat buy. I need flint, because I need an archer. Okay, those are like warriors. But there's another archer. And... Is, does it actually matter how many people I'm gonna send to the gate? No idea. Let's try to do so. Touch of Chaos. Reduces health by 5 to random enemy on two unit and increases energy by 2 to all party members. Increases attack by 2 to a random party member. Um... Okay, do I have those cards? No, I... Ah, okay, okay, so those are the cards in my inventory. Those are the cards I'm using at the moment, okay. Additional items, nothing over here. Gold, success, morale, low. Morale is low. Great, awesome, this is something I wanted to know. Right, let's fight! Hope for the best, though. Hi, guys! How are you? <laughs> Oh, this is gonna stink on so many different levels. Right, this guy is blocked. 12, 7, 10, 12. Okay, so this guy is weak because he has very low energy, so we're gonna do an energy attack on him. Now, this guy. Uh, can I try to do something nice? Steal 7 damage, pushes enemy back. Not exactly the thing I need to do. Increase the defense of a party member by 6. Increase your defense by 1. Deals 12 damage to health to all surrounding units and pushes back by two. Okay, so this is like a surround attack. So maybe I should actually try to put you... You know what? Hmm. Because they're gonna be coming at me, right? And this is like a good choke point we could try to use. I have archers over here. So I actually think this is gonna be the thing I'm gonna try to do. So this is gonna be the choke point. Uh, okay, I have three warriors. So two warriors can stand over here, one warrior can stand over here. Archers in the back. I don't see any archers on those side. So you're gonna go over here. Go here. And you have to do like some defensive uh, thingies, like, I don't know, cover, increase your energy by 6, all damage received uh, is dealt to, to health. Uh, damage received is equal to speed between... Okay, I think this is actually quite good idea. Okay, so you stand over here. There you go, protection have been granted. Right. You guys, okay, you need to start shooting. Okay, you can shoot at that guy, I believe. Deals 6 damage. To hell. Do you have maybe... Um, do you have something to do with energy, for example? Increase your defense by 5. End the turn. Skips a turn doing the... No. Dead shot. 12 damage. Oh, so this takes my health. <laughs> oh shit, my turn is about to end. Oh crap! Uh, okay, no, no, no. Start shooting? Why not start, start to shoot? Start to shoot? Start to, why don't you want you not shooting? Oh shit! Shoot? Why the fuck I'm not shooting? No idea. Oh crap. This is bad. <laughs> this is terrible. Here he comes. I am completely not prepared. Why there's a time thingy for the turns? I need to turn this thing off as soon as possible. There's no turning off the uh, timer. <laughs> that stinks. Okay. Uh... Energy attack, energy attack, energy attack. Don't see any. Okay, so let's do this thing. Let's aim... Health time. Okay, let's lower his energy. There you go. So he won't be able to do anything. Now, you guys, you're probably gonna come closer, so I kinda hope to shoot you through the barrels. Okay, you stand over here, that's nice. Now, you... Shoot. Uh, can I? Ah, now I can freaking shoot, okay. So, you have low energy. And this is gonna almost kill you. Ah, but this one's gonna damage me as well. Okay. I don't know what's the difference between the sh shot and attack. So let's just deal with this thing. I'm gonna lower your energy. There you go. Shot. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Learn the pain, motherfucker. Uh-oh. Incoming. Oh. How dare you. Okay. 
So you're gonna move next. You're gonna go over here. Okay, if I'm gonna go... Can I? Okay, if I'm gonna go over here... Will I be able to damage this guy out of his energy? I kinda hope so. Okay, aim at, aim at the energy so he won't be able to do anything. Nice! It's progressing! Okay, this guy is coming, but he's gonna get blocked. Beautiful. See? Choke points! Choke points! This is what you need to have. Choke points! Okay. Now, all of my army is uh, available for me and my entire squad. So, you're gonna go over here. And I want you to cover. Okay, and you're gonna be like covering this thing. Right. In the meantime, this guy, you need to do some heavy damage. Steals this 11 damage. Uh, I don't know what I'm to pick. Let's go with this one. Push this enemy back by two. Okay, sounds nice. I'm trying to... No, I'm trying to... I don't think I can damage you. I don't think I can actually do anything. Can I? Okay, I don't think I can do... Okay, can I do anything else then? No. No. Oh, because that's her turn. Okay, end the turn then. Nothing I can do. This didn't end. Did it end now? End the turn? Ah! <laughs> I forgot how to combat! <laughs> okay, this guy stands in the back. Now. Can I... Push him back. Like this. Oh, great! I pushed everybody back. <laughs> that was nice. Okay, you're gonna go over here and... You're gonna do basically shit to her because she is tanking. So we're gonna finish him off quickly. Aim at the... Energy. Go. Archers! Fire! Okay, the other guy's gonna do the same thing. Uh-oh. Hi. <laughs> Look out! Ouch. You dipshit. Okay, this is very nice that those guys are like standing over there. Crap. Okay, if I'm gonna go here... And I'm gonna do the... Spin attack. Which apparently I cannot. To all surrounding enemies. Okay. So it's gonna damage those two. Let's do so. Oh! <laughs> that was nice! Uh-oh. Something happened. I don't know what. Incoming! Oh! How dare you! I would make a quick work of you. Pathetic weakling. Um, okay, the archer is ready to do something. Uh, okay, yours. Unless I'm gonna do this thing. And I'll be able to kill this guy. Shitty. Okay, I need to kill this guy because he's gonna be like an issue. Um, Can I do this thing with this? We'll just kill him now if you want. Crap. Okay, sacrifice my own health and deal with this uh, with this guy over here. Come on! Shoot! Aim at the eye! Oh! Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> that was nasty. Incoming! How dare you! I'll make a quick work of you, peasant. Okay, now what? Who? Who's now? You? Okay, this is 14 damage. You'll be able to kill this guy? And I let him. Sweet. <laughs> okay, you're gonna do this thing. Pathetic. Now, time for you to attack back. Increase your defense by... 4. Increase your corner attack by 7. Okay, let's do this. I should have probably done this thing before, right? Attack this. Okay, lower his energy. <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to be? Uh, uh. <laughs> that was funny. Ouch. Okay, now I'm pissed. <laughs> Never mind about that thing. Okay, archers. Prepare to finish off those weaklings. You're gonna go over here. Nice movement. I bet you're not related to, like, different kind of uh, sex, gender, whatever thing. Shut up. <laughs> gonna kill this guy. Ouch! Stop attacking me! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go over here and finish the final guy. Just like bloody that. There you go! And that! Easy. No problem. When the fight is over, you notice more guards with their weapons trough in the nearby valley. Ali, you don't to the gate. Why, it isn't open yet? You want to go through this again? 
Rigek nicks the uh, sealed gate in fury. Shit! Bloody Rask did it somehow! Think quickly! What could he use? Leda Gleda shunned the members. Rask swept something along the slit between the gates. Do you recall what he said? Silver could come in handy. We have Mom's necklace in one of the bags. You pull the pieces of silver jewelry out of the bag and toss it into the trigger. He shrouds and slides along the, sh the slit. The Reaper's marks fade away and the gate cracks open. Oh, there's like a sign over there, look. Krieger laughs hysterically. Well, I'll be damned! Silver! Silver work! Pull the river! No! You and your company rush into the open. As soon as you close the gate behind you, Reaper's sign, invisible to you from the outside, release the seals from it in a hissing sound. Soon enough, first began pounding from the inside. The bell still tolls over Anbilus. You look under your company companions. I must save my daughter. And you, since you joined me. At least those of you who wish to carry on will try to make it to the nearest man here. It might help us. Let's go. Victory! Gold? Jewelry? Okay, you I don't know what this thing is. The skull thingy? Yeah, Krieger he received... No, this guy... This guy received the most damage. So why the fuck this guy is damaged? Oh, yeah. Uh, golden air ring. Energy, plus one. See? This is why women... Wear jewelry, right? Gold give her plus one to energy, rubies give her plus five to health. Simple. You look and you wrote uh, leading quest. There's a hope prints and even dry drops of blood in the dust. You conclude. It looks like Rusk person went that way. Quicker, do you think we should try to catch up with him? He's more of that old man than the eye can see. In fact, I have a hunch he knows more about the reaping than anyone else. Quicker scratches his head. I can't believe that. I saw him open the sealed gate. He definitely knows something. We can still catch up with him, but this road doesn't take you straight to the end here. Rask's got a head start, but his horse is no prize. We can go after him, but we'll lose the entire day, if not more. You start having doubts, and we may lose him. He's still got those naughty guards on his cell. They could finish him off already. I have to make a decision now. Wow, okay. So... Okay, current goal. The, ha the healing powder of your sacred stone is the only hope for saving your daughter. You must travel to the nearest man here. Nearest man here, which is? Can I get that thing once again? Like the information thing, what's this? Okay, whatever that thing is. Uh, silver mine. <laughs> so that's the point where you're gonna be safe. Uh, watchtower. Bullet mill. Ah, there's a man here. So we have to go north. And the guy escaped it on which direction, excuse me? No? Wah? Wah? You're the ripping too. Signs of trouble. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's like a difficulty. Holy shit. Wow. Less than one minute per battle. Okay, I think I'm gonna stay with the two. <laughs> <laughs> more experience for killing in battle. More experience, more experience, more experience. More experience, more experience. Oh, it's mostly experience. Okay, good to know. Okay, I'm gonna stick to two. For now at least. Oh, fuck, where to go? I don't know where to go. Good thing I actually like recording this thing, so I check it quickly. <laughs> what the game said. So he went west. So he went here. Okay, I have the, uh, like, stixes and apparently those costs to travel around. And I need... The healing powder of your uh, sacred stone is the only hope of saving your daughter. You must travel to the nearest man here. Current goal. So, does that mean if I'm gonna try to reach that guy, I won't be able to save my daughter? Because that's probably a thing. Um, okay, I could try to technically go here, catch up with the with the risk guy, whatever his name is, and then try to travel directly here. I think I can, like, waste a day. I hope. Right? Should be fine. Okay, so the stone stone bridge, it is. Let's just hope that this thing is actually like west. Let's go! Come on, come on, don't die. Don't die, nobody dies. Nobody dies on my watch. Okay, now what? Oh! Great, that was a nice transition. Okay. Leave the goblin town. You couldn't catch risks, so in time to head to the man here. Tower. Tower looks empty. 
It shouldn't. Corpse says, there are several dead bodies on the foot of the tower. Great! You approach the bodies, but keep Glarda and the soldiers away as soon as you realize how grisly the site is. The victims' faces and ears have been cut off. Krieger grows pale when he sees the mutilated bodies. This is beyond evil. Those are the guards who are pursuing Rusks, all twelve of them. I recognize their uniforms. What kind of monster did this? The poor bastards had wives and children! Examine the corpses. A monster, maybe. A professional, definitely. Look, they were all slain by a single blow. Either to the neck or between the ribs. There is... <laughs> there is the weapon, stuck in one of the poor chaps. The handle is broken. It's Rusk's... Uh, it's Rusk's axe. Okay. The captain eyes white in surprise. I'll be damned if this doesn't belong to Rusk. Head, is it to hang on the wall on this hop? I've never seen another like that. But why should he mutilate the corpses? You turn uh, away from the bodies. Only Rusk can answer that. I am afraid one day he will answer for his savagery. For now, let's decide what to do with the bodies. Search the corpses, bury the guards, bury them. I mean, it would, well, I should technically salvage whatever I can. You know, this is like war, actually, the end of the war. But I don't know how the rest of the of the team is gonna react. So let's just bury them and hope for the best. With the limited manpower we have, putting 12 bodies would take too long. Therefore, you just leave the poor bastards laying here. <laughs> oh, come on! You think for a moment, then ask Krieger to help you. They Together, you turn the bodies face down, sparing your corpses, uh, companions from seeing the mutilation. Okay, the answer is something. South and road. Rask could have gone south. It's worth examining the footprints to the road. Tower looks empty. You attempt to enter the tower, but discover that the door is latched from the inside. It's scratched and dent. Somebody obviously tries hacking through it with a weapon. Okay, you knock, but nobody answers. Walk around the tower. You discover a vertical slit, defects on the machinery that makes up to the tower backward. Despite their proximity to the ground, uh, you've been used as part holes. They're too narrow to climb through, but you can peek into one of the into the ter ter terror ta terror. My God, tower's interior. Peek inside. Inside of the tower is left in a shadow, but you still s you can still make it out on plant furniture and puddles of blood. It seems you found the Jarenas. Great. Try to break the door, waste no time. Climb through the window. You need to send someone up to the edge of the tower wall. Not everyone is agile enough to climb that high and squeeze through the narrow window. It's a bad idea. Oh, I cannot do anything else? That stinks. I wanted to break through the door. No. Leave the golden tower. You can't rush, uh, you can't catch risks, so it's time to head to the main here. Ras could have gone west. You can examine the, uh, the road to find out. There are no hoof prints on the road. It's a quarter of a lage. The ground becomes rocky. If you run on a road to west, there's no way to tell. Great. Southern road? You examine the road to the south and discover clots of earth, possibly left by a horse, showing the main track from nearby dirty road. There must be at least a dozen riders, and they rode by very, <laughs> by very recently. The earth is still fresh. The mysterious footprints make you uneasy. Soldiers from Odach or Jerena would stop to check out on the dead guards. Other visitors to Barkana can only mean trouble. You are frustrated that you couldn't intercept Risk, Rask, or at least track where he went. You tell Krieger your worries. Krieger spits. The bastard Rask is on good way now. I'm sure he went further to, into Gebunda, where you can ride for a day and not come access a single settlement. Lately, even the robbers have shot and died out. There's nothing for us to do in Gedoba. Uh, you agree? Well, I ride on my luck, but if I fail it, but it failed me. We've got, we've no other choice but to head into the main here and die in front village. Okay, leave it for the main here then. Nothing else we can do. I wanted to try to go into the tower, but the game don't allow me to. It stinks. Okay. So fastest way to the village we go. Let's go. On the journey again! Let's just hope my dada don't die on me! Ta -da -da -da. I cannot zoom in, okay, that's nice. Fuck, you look around, some landmarks are surprisingly familiar. You've been here with Krieger, you remember him mentioning an nearby grave, a battle site where a captain of the guard was buried. He was likely laid to rest with the weapons and captain's insignia. Look for the burial, tell your compan companions about the captain. Um, okay, let's play a grave robber then. You began searching the burial and soon came upon a long gravestone. Somewhere underneath lies a sticks, a priceless commodity in those troubling times. 
Give up the idea of desecrating the burial. Extract the six from the burial. Krieger declares sacrifice and refuses to participate. Everyone stares in a statement, but realizes the importance of the sticks. No one tries to stop you. Hey! Uh, after digging up the grave, you find the captain's insignia with the sticks. It has been up much time, but you've lost the entire day. Your company, company sets out the motorized. Ah! What the fuck? Six loss. Why the game have moved here? The Frixans invaded Bekena. Hordes of North friends are already marching across the lands of the Five Kingdoms. What? Excuse me, we are having a horde invasion over here? <laughs> That's bad. That's terrible. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Long horseman comes into the sight of the outskirts of Dean Ford village. His horse barely trucks along. It looks like he galloped without rest. The rider, just as exhausted, didn't notice you until you catch up with him. Krieger resides himself in a strip, glares on the traveler and shouts, Well, if it isn't Ramelin, wait, you knock at head? You! Don't you recognize your commander? Taking back, uh, aback, the lead hunkers his shoulders, but then sighs in a relief that he recognizes Krieger. Hello, Captain Krieger. What brings you here? On our way home. Not that far off, I'm in fact. Kirger sounds in, in scan of nearby houses. Your village isn't going anywhere, and your horse needs some rest anyhow. You ride the poor thing to death, you bonehead. Get off before it crushes you. Uh, Ramlin gets off the horse, and, gets, and the exhausted animal collapses. You give the young cat a scan for glares, and dismount in order to talk to him. Why? This is really needed. Catch your breath, boy. Take it easy. Now tell me one thing. We passed a dozen helmet hamlets yesterday, but didn't see a single person. Do you know what's going on? I don't know. I didn't stop by the hamlets. In fact, I didn't stop at all. Hmm. Okay, did you notice anything strange on the way? Is he sweating? I think he was. The fruit pass, maybe. Lots of them. Looks like the party on the horseback. Larger than yours. I didn't see them ev even though I rode without rest. But my guess is that they're heading to the main here. We noticed that too. I can imagine what company could be. It's too big for Banhorn Patrol. Could it be bandits? I hope they don't find their way into the village. Never seen any bandits in those parts. We're not rich, and there are several balls and lances in every home. They lose more than they gain. There's also a watch around the main here, and they would come to our aid. All right, we deal with those with those mysterious ho horsemen later. Okay. How did you even manage to ride so long? Well, I'm not short of an incarnation. Bucks it up a bit. Learned it from my grandma. She's one of the Vandalians. They know their stuff. Well, I know a short of incarnation. Ah, okay. So, can you buck, buck us up? Not yet. Too tired. Besides, I'm a bit of a weakling compared to my grandma. She's very skilled. And she's also has got special powers and pentacles. Well, I definitely see your grandma on the way back. I hope she sells us some portions to keep us healthy. Okay, on the way, later man. Uh, I suppose I'm to stay afterwards, don't think me a deserter, Captain. Just go already, nobody is accusing you of anything. Visit your grandma or return to the watchtower. We are too pre preoccupied to care. Yeah, that's actually true. Like, you know, we have reapers on the back. Okay, where the hell is the man here? What is the village? This is the village? <laughs> One house in the middle of nowhere, you call this thing a village? Great! Great idea, awesome idea. You pass a village and empty streets strike you an odd. A feeling of forbidden sets in, but you shout it off. Right now, your only goal is the man here. Everyone else comes second. The village must gather near this sacred stone, Fl Flit says. It's a holiday after all. You agree revealed indeed. Villagers near the man here traditionally boast spirit festivals. Lost in thoughts, you don't immediately hear someone addressing you. Flit calls you again, pointing on the road. There's something small. There's something smoking there, and scavengers circle <laughs> the back plumes. You slow down to take a closer look. Oh no, don't tell me they massacred the man here and everybody's dead. That would be a disaster, just saying. Hello? This looks like a battlefield. There are dead bodies of- Oh my god! Ho ho ho! Everybody died! That's not good. 
that's terrible. And where's the man here? Where's the stone? Oh, shit. Everybody's dying and I cannot do anything with that thing. <laughs> this is fucked up. How about of course uh, corpses rest in the middle of the road? So many bodies, men and women, old and young, even children. There is a sc scaffold and some spears sticking off to the ground. The smell of blood makes you highlight light hided. You trot closer, pulling back on the reins. Scorch uh scorch it and turn asunder. Those all those people died without making a sound. Their mouths chuckled with dirt. Hacked limbs lie nearby. You turn around slowly. Clara stands close by, clutching the cliff leaf of her sword. The others stand further back, frozen in place. Gleda sobs. She's petrified, unable to take a word. She runs off and limp, lim, limp limbs stick to her stomach. No bloody wonder. You order your men to help Gleda and to keep the uh, and to keep their distance. A quiet howl drives your attention. You notice a pregnant woman strong. Oh Christ! Strong under the pile of corpses. Oh come on! She's very severely mutilated and won't last long without aid. It seems the woman will deliver her child within a matter of hours. If you leave her here to die, the child, the child dies with her. But if you bring her along, she'll be, she'll be a great burden, not to mention the baby, if you survive, that is. Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. Well, technically, the guy said that for him at the moment only the other matters, right? So, and only I have the body. And it's gonna be a burden. And everything is dying. And I'm gonna probably regret my decision, and probably my subscriber is gonna like make the shit out of me. Uh, I don't want to make. I don't want to. Okay, try to help. Fuck it. You wade through the corpses and pull the woman out from under the pile. Your companions come to aid. You don't have a healer. It's pointless to return to the village. Those corpses are all that's left. Seems like you have to bring the woman to the man here. Ah, oh, under fucking corpses. What, dude? Oh, great. There's a fucking shit shit house over here. And there are bandits. And there's a gigantic stone. Excuse me, what's happening? Here? A stopped company uh, on the bridge. Supposedly figures stand on the other side. The watchman bodies hang nearby, close to the bloody, <laughs> bloody socket man here. Fleet glows pale. Are they enemies? Do what Hulnikers call them? Call them abominations. I've read about them. Wielders of ancient blades that can fly. Reap time is upon us! Oh, great! Drop your sword. You not they've noticed us. Be on your guard! They're no fools. Gather near the bridge. We have no we have to dismount. Don't all of don't all of you swarm the bridge. <laughs> You'll get in the way of each other. Gleda, look after the wounded girl. As you give orders, Flint rushes to the bridge, yelling someone some nonsense uh, about courage, trying to remain compound. Composed, you order everyone to attack and run after Flint himself. Yourself, however, he mistakes it. However, he makes it to the bridge first, with uh, the others several steps behind. Well, that stinks. Okay, so Gleda is not uh, with us because she's helping the woman. Um. Okay, I need spears. I have enough warriors. I have only one archer. Where the hell is the other archer? Oh, okay, he's already in the party. Right, items: golden rings, energy. Uh, give it to the archer for now. There you go. It should help. Okay. Let's try to do something and try not to actually die. Is that a good idea? It's a wonderful idea. Oh, shit. No choke points. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you archer person, you know that you're... Well, fuck. Bravo, dipshit. You did the perfect thing. Crap. Crap. So many times. Crap. Okay, you go over here. You go over here. Uh, okay, I don't know their movement. Oh, shit. I don't have this many. This time you have, like, some range attack. You don't have any range attack. Oh, come on, game. Mm, that stinks. Okay, positioning ready. Yeah. I'm completely bloody ready. Okay, time to use the fucking cards. Can I hope so. Right, do I have a killing card? Kiss health by 10. This is health. This is attack. Uh, this is health to 5 to a random enemy. Unit increase energy by 2 to all party members. Increase attack by 2 to a random party member. Righty. Okay, he's there. 
standing him away, so I can like actually go over here and push him. Like this guy, push push him back. Let's see. Mm, increase increase your defense by one and attack by one. Okay, let's actually do this. Yeah, come at me. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible timing. No! Why the fuck I did that? Why 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 am why I was so stupid? Okay, increase health. Have the card. That's probably a terrible idea. I probably should have not wasted a fucking card. Not like this. Oh, we're gonna all die. Hello. Shit. Oh, stinks. It stinks. Get over here. Okay, lower his energy. And stuns the target. Okay, let's hope for the best. Uh, okay, he won't have any energy, so let's do that. Okay, and he's blocked, so now those motherfuckers won't try to draw in. Yeah, you cannot do anything because you're blocked. That's part of the plan. Now, this guy, he needs to retreat as soon as possible. Uh, okay, you go over here. Wait, this is actually a good idea. What do we have? Increase your defense by three. All damage received is dealt to energy. Increase your running distance by two. Uh, this is a melee attack, I believe. Power strike. Great, but you know what? I need like something to range. Like, do we have a range attack? That'd be lovely. Okay, end the turn for now. Okay, you motherfuckers won't do anything because you don't have how. Anyone else wants to try to do something? No? That's fine. Okay. Shot. Okay, I need to deal with those motherfuckers quick. Uh, if I'm gonna do this thing, that's gonna like almost kill him. Okay, Mr. Archer person, you're in the back, so actually you're safe. There you go. I like their weapons. This is fucked up. This is so fucked up, man. Okay, what do you have? Pressing attack. Increase the tank uh, counter energy. Okay. I need to move here. I need to take this guy back. Can you do this? <laughs> Wait. Wait for the enemy to come. Okay. Oh, great. You have a range attack. You can't be bloody serious right now. Okay, you need to move back. Uh. Okay, yeah, no, no, definitely, you need to move back, go back. You two damage to do anything at the moment. Uh, and actually, increase defense of a party member by six. Can I do this? Ah, only the surrounding ones, okay, that stinks. This one then. Let's hope for the best. No idea. Uh oh! Incoming! Ah! I'm alive! I'm alive! <laughs> I don't know how to survive! Uh, okay. Right, so this guy is here. Okay, those motherfuckers will come closer, so I'm not going closer. Increase your defense by four. Increase your courage by... Counter-attack by... Okay, let's do this thing. Alright. And end the turn. Okay, yeah, this guy is coming. And he won't be able to do anything because... Fuck you, in general, right? Good. Fucking hell. Okay, Mr. Spear person, I have a job for you, you know? You're gonna come over here and you're gonna attack this guy. Kill him, thank you. There you go, one down, four to go. He is buffing his allies and I don't know what I'm doing. This is bad, this is bad. So many different levels, this is so bad. Uh, okay, shot. Aim at this guy and lower his energy even more. So he won't be able to do anything. Oh, this is pathetic. This is so bad. Motherfuckers have range attack. This is cheating. Ah, Let's see what the freaking... Uh, this guy will do. Okay, there you go. Ah, I've managed to heal. Awesome. Oh, this is gonna stink on so many different fucking levels. I'm about to fucking die. You want to go do anything? <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Screw you, bitch. Okay. And stones the target, pushes the enemy back. Increase your defense by... Okay, doesn't end the turn. Let's get this. Now, I'm gonna go... No, 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 no. No, no, no. Go here. Like this. Now, can you do something nice? Uh, okay, full strike. Hmm, which one should try to deal with? Maybe this guy. Okay, this is gonna almost kill him. So let's do so. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> That's nice. Uh oh. 
And you have just executed yourself. No counterattack? Well, fuck it. Okay, this guy. Exhausting shot, 12 energy. Deals 18 damage to energy and reduces defense of the enemy by 5. Holy shit, boss, that sounds so sexy. Shoot it! Ha! Awesome! Nice shot. Very nice shot. Okay, this guy's coming. Don't cast anything, stop it! Okay, he's just killing them. Not kidding. Okay, my guy, the assassin person. Oh, come on, you won't be able to kill him? You'll be able to kill him! Kill him! Yes! Another one buys the dust! Da -da -da. Another one buys the dust! Da -da -da. This guy is still healing. That's so, so bad. Okay. Uh, this guy... This guy, you have to go over here, so let's go. Can I, like, help my allies somehow? They're just, like, lying on the ground. For some unknown reason to me. Uh, increase your count. Okay, increase your defense for now. <laughs> I like how he's just wiping his nose and increasing his stats. It's like, I am too old for this shit. Okay, that was actually a good move. My defense is required. Okay, you. What you can do? Hmm. Increase your counter. Does not end your turn. Please? Yes. There you go. Okay, now go closer. And let's start with the enemy. Shall we? Furious attack. Mm. Okay, this guy won't move, so let's focus on this guy. Okay, reduce his energy. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> That's nice. Ah, fuck. Counter? Not gonna co Come on, counter already! There you go! Took you a while. Christ. Okay. Assassin person. Uh, I don't know what to do. 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 Okay, well, I need to get to the caster in the back. Um, fuck, how to do this? If I'm gonna go over here... I don't think I can do anything. What's this? Deals 25 damage plus enemy back. Shit. Okay, go over here. And you're gonna actually like, try to do some freaking damage. How about that? Attack him. Like this. Oh! Who's that? That's nice. Uh oh. Don't you die something? Oh, really? Fuck you? In general, fuck you and fuck your attacks. Holy shit, boss. Did you say that thing? That was so nasty. Okay, I'm gonna go closer with this guy. And we're gonna do some awesome auto shots. Okay, I'm not gonna risk my HP. Lower his energy, so he won't be able, won't be able to do anything. Nice. Okay, now this guy. Ouch. Counter. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I love that guy. Okay, I need to move this guy out of the way. I can't, because fuck me. Uh, okay, all damage, let's do this thing for now. There we go. Is there like anyone else I could try to move? Uh-oh. Uh, why am I moving the spear guy to the front? Can somebody please remind me once again? Why the fuck I have done that thing? Why the fuck I have to be so stupid sometimes? Christ. Okay, this guy won't do anything, so let's focus on this guy. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay, now you. Ouch. Counter attack. Okay, no counter attack, apparently. You go closer and finish this motherfucker, okay? The caster guy. With this thing. 28. Will this thing kill him? Will this thing kill him? No. But this thing, I think, will kill him. Yeah, so let's... Let's just bloody kill him. Normally. There you go. Uh-oh. Something happened. Ouch! Okay, you know what, Mr. Archer person? Go over here. And finish the last guy. Because he's, like, annoying. There you go. Bye-bye! Oh! Pathetic weaklings. I almost fucking died. Victory. You call that thing a victory? What? Oh, I have injuries. Oh, I have lots of injuries. I need to heal. Philip is dead. Yeah, because he's stupid. The battle ends and you realize that Philip has been killed. You approach the body, kneel and close his eyes. The body is dead, feels like you've, your fault. And you realize that all of your companions may similarly perish. You, uh, you go upstairs, well aware that every last one of your men will take your word to the heart. Every last one of you may die. 
You say, but nobody is dead, should be in vain. A battlefield is no place for grudges, quarrels, and score scheduling. Trigger sighs heavily. I am to blame for his death. I shouldn't have lost my compose. I, he was too young and took my filthy words to the heart. Field was too young for, that, for such tribal nights, leather shops. I'm not much older, whatever. Who is the Tremendium cares? Death certainly doesn't. You order Phil's corpse to be taken to the man here. He needs a proper burial. But first, you need to figure out what in the world is going on. You've noticed Ramalan on the bridge. He toggles along with lifeless eyes. You know the horrors he's seen and what to approach him. But Gleda beats you to it. Ramalan holds her and starts crying, nearly choking on his tears. You can't bring yourself to interrupt him. Gleda tries to calm him down and you listen to the to his jobbling account of what happened in the empty village. Judging by the blood stains, some of the blo bodies were thrown in the river and some... He goes silent and you turn to the attention to the man here. Yay! Let's stay here for the rest of eternity! Sounds like a good plan? No! Okay. So I was just saying something. I was like, no, you don't have to yell at me. Screw you! <laughs> oh, this is gonna stink on so many different levels, I believe. I don't know what to do about this thing, and I'm about to probably die. Yeah. That's a good thing to do. Okay. Survival, great. Alright, so I think this is actually a good point to cut this episode over here. Day 4, lost one party member already, is going completely to the shithole, the shoot bucket is awaiting our arrival, everything is just going perfectly. <laughs> and also the horde is coming, which is also great. Like, now I understand the description of the game, that your heroes can die quite easily. Like, literally, this is the only thing that actually I think is awaiting me. Death. So that's gonna be nice, that's gonna be probably the thing that's gonna happen in the next episode, because for now, I'm gonna leave it as it is over here. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, if you liked the episode, please subscribe a lot, and I'll see you all in the next video.